guys. So today I normally do like hauls that are from like one specific place most of the time. It's been a while. I, let's just let's just let him let's just let him do it. Come on. There's not room, but I'm sure you'll find. Come on. Come come on. You wanna come up here? Come on. There. There we go. There we go. Say hi to everybody. You were just a big dog for nine months old, you know? Just huge. Oh. Handsome. He's a handsome baby boy. He must be going through some type of like growth spurt because he's doing a lot of, a little bit more sleeping. So, in the mornings specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all this. Ah, adorable. You watching the crafting, the journaling on TV? Yeah, look at that journal. I hope the lighting's okay. I just toned it down a little bit more. I thought it just like looked a little too bright. But like I was saying, I normally do hauls from like Amazon or Walmart or Tuesday morning. Sometimes I'll combine like two stores, but this is pretty random. I would say the, probably the bulk of it is from Amazon, but I have stuff from Etsy, have stuff from the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. I have some of my merch to share with you. Walmart stuff, um, something from TJ Maxx. Yeah, there's just a, a variety of things. So I'm not gonna go in any like store particular order at all, but I will tell you guys where I got everything. Um, is my necklace, I just, I need to always straighten my necklace because I never pay attention to this. And when I edit, I'm just like, ugh, why didn't I fix that? Okay, actually let's start off with some cleaning supplies because I need something to clean the glass stove with. And of course, you know that I went right to Vanessa's TikTok account. I've talked about Vanessa so much. She's just like the cleaning queen. She has the best tips and tricks. So I watched her video where she cleaned the glass stove and she did like a four step process. So the first thing that she went in was with a degreaser. However, she used a Dawn degreaser and it is purple, the one that she has, but I think you get it like Home Depot because I tried to get it at Walmart in my store and I, they didn't have it. So this was the first step that she did just to kind of like get the gunk off. And then she goes in with an oven cleaner. So I also picked this up from Walmart and she just sprays onto the glass stove top and she does this like at night and then leaves it on overnight. And then in the morning, that's where she does the wipe off. And this is what's gonna get off like that layer that seems to be just kind of like, if you have a glass stove top, you probably know what I'm talking about, but this is probably, this is the trick, I believe. Then to wipe off the two things that we just sprayed, she does a regular Dawn like soap thing and then cleans that off and then she adds like a polish with um, like the world's best glass cleaner, which I already have. I also picked up some more things from Walmart. I mean, since we're here, not that I meant to like go in order, but I have found myself having to stop doing my journaling because I needed more glue sticks. And so I said, you know what? I just do not want to run out <laughs> of this. So I got this massive box of glue sticks from Walmart. And I will say, you guys know as much as I love Dollar Tree, um, I do prefer the bigger name brand glue sticks. I just think they're slightly better. But you know what? I need to um, go grab some Jot glue sticks from Dollar Tree and do a comparison and just see. Because I haven't done that. So, but anyways, just to show you guys how many glue sticks I got. And so I got that. And then also from Walmart, I got this little pack of paintbrushes just because I want to do some like painting on my journals and some like watercolor effect. So I just grabbed a pack of that and like that, that's it. Um, okay, next up, I got this beautiful thin band black leather watch with a very small oval face. Um, if it would focus. So this one I actually found on eBay and what inspired me to get this watch was the TV series on 
Amazon the summer I turned pretty so if you have watched that this is something that I saw um, Laurel is that the mom's name the mom's name to what's the girl's name I forget her name I forget everybody's name I know Conrad because I'm team Conrad but um but anyways, so I think Laurel is her name and she's just, her whole vibe in that show is very like me in a way. She was very like minimalist in what she was wearing. And then there was a scene where she had on a very thin band black watch. And I just, I just love that. So I got that. And next up from Amazon, I wanted to get some stamps, but I really need to go to like Michael's and Hobby Lobby to do this. I just don't actually have one that close to me. So I just got some of these for now from Amazon, but I got these Halloween rubber stamps. So cute. So like that's the whole stamped image there. So I got that one. And then I got another one that came in this really cute packaging and it is a black cat on a pumpkin super cute love that and then i had to get an ink stamp but i am going to be going to hobby lobby there's going to be a hobby lobby haul coming up soon so make sure you're subscribed because i just know it's going to be huge because i have a list going already of what i need to get there um i know i'm probably going to walk away with more inks stamp pads but i wanted to get one that was like really huge and so yeah i mean you can just i mean i'm not going to open it but like it's pretty big and it's black the ink is black on this one so i got that um i picked up some mod podge i don't know where my my stash went so i just grabbed another one this is from walmart so there's that and then I picked up this beautiful A5 planner. However, this is going to be a return because it's gray and I thought I was buying black. Um, so I went to like double check to see if like I made a mistake and I did. So this is the gray. So then I went back through the colors and in the end I decided not to get the black. I got a brown. So I'm waiting for that. But here's what they are. They look the same, except obviously the color is going to be different. Um, and I like that there's a little lock feature there. Super cute. And it already co comes with how to set your code. And then it comes filled with paper, which is super nice. So if you're just going to like do a junk journal effect in here, like there's your paper. You know, you really don't need to buy any other like inserts if you didn't want to you know but there's so much available in terms of like what you can put in an a5 and i'm gonna show you because i got a bunch of it i'm gonna get to in a second it's kind of buried so let's just reach for what's next um so i got this orange outfit and if you watch my vlogs then you've already seen this on me I'm not going to do a try on of this, but I will link a vlog down below so that you can see what this looks like on because it's so pretty. It is like an athletic dress. It's got shorts underneath, which is really nice. I love that effect. And definitely go click on the video in the description to see this on me because this slit right here is all the way up to the waist and it's so pretty. And then the back cutout is so lovely so i actually got this from nordstrom's it was not part of the anniversary sale i just saw it and i thought it was really pretty i will say this is the priciest thing i've ever bought myself in terms of like athletic wear I, but the moment I saw it, like, I just know myself. I just knew that it was going to be worth it for me. And then the next item, I am going to do a little, like, shot for you so you can see this on. But just because I'm wearing it. But I got this dress that I'm wearing right now from the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. Um, it was such a great deal. So this one was on the sale. And it has this, like, really pretty corduroy type finish so it gives that casual yet sporty look to it as well so i think the material is really pretty and it's actually very light so even though corduroy seems to be like like fall type material i still can wear this now um because it's just so thin but yeah and it has a cute little slit which 
I really love. And I was, this was one of my favorite things. I mean, it doesn't fit me that well on the sides. I'm kind of surprised because this is a medium. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that I would need to go for a small, um, but I think that if I went for a small, it wouldn't have fit me right in the waist um, bottoms part. So yeah, there's that. But I also got a pair of shoes from the anniversary sale as well. Is that all that I got? I thought that I got three things from the anniversary sale. This dress, these shoes, Maybe that was it. I don't remember. Um, but I picked up these vans. I don't own any vans. I've actually ever wanted them. So I got the high tops because I just thought they would be really cute. I don't remember what I paid for them, but not part of the anniversary sale. I finally got the Converse that I've been waiting. These just seem to always be out of stock. It just seems so hard to find Converse shoes now. And I got the platform high tops in black. All right, next up, I'm still gonna like go with shoes. I'll show you guys what I picked up from Shein. I was actually hoping these were gonna come in before my vacation, but they didn't. But they're still so cute. You know, now that I live in like a more tropical climate, I can wear these, you know, just probably all year long. Um but they're just so pretty such a good little staple but also i'm in the i'm in the market for like new online places so comment down below let me know where where do you go shopping for your clothes i also got these they're a little smushed so it's kind of like hard to really see they're also from shein pretty inexpensive so that's it for the shoes um next uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of my own merch. I don't have it all in. I was actually planning on getting everything together, but it's so cute. I have to share it with you now. So I have two places where you can buy merch. My Teespring shop, which is actually linked to these videos. So if you're watching like on your smartphone, you should see it in the part of the description. Um, the other place is my Etsy shop. That's actually where I've been loading all of these new images. So they're not quite available yet on Teespring, but I'm going to make them available on both. Um, so there's just a lot that I've been putting up already on my Etsy shop, which is always linked down below. And my fall mystery kits, my Halloween trick or treat kits are coming out August 1st. So stay tuned for that i'm gonna do a whole dedicated video so you guys can kind of like see a sample um but anyways so i got in one of my mugs which is so cute and it's so me um i boo what i want so there's that super adorable yeah you can order this now by the way and then these are my mock-ups so just know that I might make little tweaks to them um, but here is this print which is also available in a crew neck sweatshirt stay spooky so cute I absolutely love it it has like a little vintage distressed look to it which is so pretty I think the shirt is only available in white um, because I do pick like my colors but just know that these items I have a company that makes it i designed the prints and then a company prints it and ships it so you're not actually getting it from me physically if that makes sense this item um is also a mock-up i've made some small tweaks to it but it's a crew neck with the fall co coffee like can we just absolutely yes in this color is everything this also i have put this one in multiple colors by the way um but just so that you know whatever image is on like the main primary image whatever color that is is my favorite color just fyi um but yeah look how cute that is so love it and i've already had one of you order the t-shirt so you know who you are thank you so much she actually reached out to me was like can i have this print in a t-shirt form and i meant to actually make it in a t-shirt form and completely forgot so thank you um for that all right i had to take off that other necklace i just i don't know i wasn't feeling it so 
more stamps. This one came like in a little family pack. So here's what they look like. Super cute. I've, I'm getting into stamps again, you guys. I'm very excited about this. Um, yeah, so love this. And so excited to be doing all of my journaling and stuff this season. So I got those. Then from Walmart, I had to get another box of markers. I went with the super tips. I already have these, but I don't have them in the hundred pack. There is a hundred in here and these are all the colors that you get. So I just decided to go for it because as much journaling as I'm doing, I also picked up my new shower curtain for my guest bathroom, the one that's kind of off of my office. I'm gonna be doing this decorating video really, really soon. I'm still waiting to get like a couple of little finishing touches. I'm just gonna unzip it a little bit so that you can kind of see this material up close. But how pretty is that? Very simple, but they're still, it's not flat. It's not like a flat curtain. So I feel like this just looks very nice. And I want, I wanted something that didn't have like um, a plasticky, you know, brightness to it. Um, this has a very light sheen. So it's not quite matte, but there's something there that I think is very pretty and looks vintage to me because I am going in the vintage route. So I'll go ahead. I'm literally pressed up against the wall. I don't know if I'm gonna have to back you guys up a little bit so that you can see these frames, but. So actually this from two different places, the print itself is from Etsy, the frame I got from Amazon. So the frame is very beautiful, gold ornate, very much like my aesthetic. Um, and then the frame also comes with the mat as well. So I am doing like a vintage sailboat theme in that guest bathroom. So here's the first print and I will link the all of these things down below as much as I can. The Walmart stuff is hard for me to link because I can't ever find it on the um, this inventory place from Walmart that you know I can pull from. It's so hard to find it. I don't know why. Here's the second print. So, so pretty. Love the choppy sea in the sky. But yeah, so very excited to get those up. All right. Next up, I have some really adorable charms. Once my vlogs, my vlogs are behind by the way, but I just unpacked this on my vlog channel so you'll see more of a detailed thing about these. But I've been wanting the little charm bracelets from this company called Charm It for a while. I actually meant to order before I moved and then I forgot and then I was like, oh, I'm moving. I'll wait till I get here to order them. And so I finally remembered and you buy the bracelet, you buy the charm, you can even do a necklace. This just reminds me of the 80s charms. Um, so as you can see, I went a little nuts on all the little charms and this is pretty inexpensive. Like the charms are $6. I mean, I think that's a really good price compared to like Pandora or whatever that company's called. So super cute little soccer ball, um, little ice cream cones, an M for Micah, little s'mores. What is that? Oh, a little dog that's supposed to be Loxy. By the way, roller skate. Yeah, so super cute charms. Look at this little T1. So, so cute. And then I got a little toaster. So a lot of this is explained in my vlog too, like on why I got each little thing. So, if I, oh wait, you have to see the cookies and milk one. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, this one is so cute. Little cookies and milk right there. And then I also got a second bracelet and then I got these charms. Now you attach the charms yourself, by the way. So they're sold individually. So when they arrive, you attach them to whatever apparatus, whether it's your bracelet, your necklace, so I thought that it would be fun to do like a nautical um, themed bracelet. 
So that's what all of these are. So hold on, let me just turn it like this so that you can see all the little things. Yeah, this one's a lot easier to see because there's not as many charms, but I got the little lobster, jellyfish. We're gonna pretend this is a sea turtle, a star, but we're gonna pretend that's a starfish, a crab, this little pink fish is so pretty fish. And then I decided to go ahead and add the sun and the cloud to this one. I don't know, just cause it's like kind of reminds me of the beach, the sun, clouds. So that's this little bracelet. And you know, for like Christmas time, that's what I'll ask for, you know, little charms for my bracelets. So I got those again from a place called Charm It. I actually saw them from an ad on Instagram and then I started following them on Instagram and then, you know, link in bio, that whole thing. All right, next up, um, I went to TJ Maxx and I bought a bunch of towels and bath mats for that bathroom. They're just white, so I didn't figure I'd put them in today's video. But I also picked up my very first candles and you guys, I have felt like it's been so long since I've done like my usual hauls, you know, where I go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. I haven't done one at all since before I moved. And even weeks before that, once I realized I was moving, so I stopped doing that. But um, so apple honey butter candle and this smells so good. It was $7.99. I wish you guys could smell through the screen. I would say this has a hint of cinnamon in it. Maybe it's coming from the apple. And then I got this one, which is a vanilla bean and cream. So pretty. I think I'm gonna put this one off of the first entryway, the one back there, not, not this one. But I oh, wish you guys again could smell it. $9.99, creamy, rich, and sweet, hand poured, yeah. It smells so good. All right, then when I was talking about my A5 and how I did buy some like inserts, I bought a bunch of different things that I found on Amazon. So this one came separately and it's just the A5 blank paper. That's all this is. I just wanted to have paper that was blank, no lines, nothing, so that I could just like paint and do whatever because i want like an a5 junk journal style i just don't know if it's going to be this journal specifically whenever i get the brown one in this one i'm returning but when the brown one comes in i'm not sure that it's going to be my junk journal a5 if that makes sense it'll just be like a journal like a daily journal of some sort and the reason why I'm saying that's not gonna be a junk journal. It's because my junk journals can tend to get really thick. And the fact that this has a lock, I think will kind of get in that way. If I got a regular A5 with like a snap closure lock, I think that would be completely fine to junk journal with. But with the lock itself, I just think that it won't close in that instance. So there's that explanation. So a lot of paper in this. And then these, I can't remember what kind of like came together in a pack or not, but I haven't even had a chance to look at it myself. So I'm gonna open this up. But they're all A5 inserts. So they all have the, the hole punch to go in. So this one says today. So it has, and you know what? These might actually be good for this lock a5 as a daily yeah so you just get multiple packets of these wow that's really awesome for the price i think it's like a lot and then i got in this little set which looks so cute and darling um also comes with little flags so that's nice it comes with some dividers so here are the colors Super cute. It also comes with a little pouch. You can see the holes at the bottom. They just have to be punched out, but see, so you just pluck them off. And then these, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Yeah, honestly, what sold me was the little tree and the, the weather. 
the little leather pieces. Where's the? So I again from Walmart or Amazon. I'll link them down below, just so you can see how cute these are. Yeah, they're all the same. So you get a to-do section, a goal section, schedule, reminders, notes, all the good stuff, you know, that you would kind of expect from um, like planning. So with that, you get two packs. So this, all of this came together for sure. Comes with, this one comes with a little ruler. It's hard to see. See the ruler back there and then the little flags. It's giving me Dollar Tree, like I've seen those before. I have those in my craft room. And then you get the blank pages, but these have lines, so they're not exactly blank. So I got two of those, and then looks like I got some of these like little folder things. What are these called? Um, and they have like different, oh, it goes like this, yeah. So there's a little pocket, that's cute. The little flap is really adorable. And then another little flap here at the top with the little slot, super cute. And then here's this one, which is like one big slot. Yeah. These next pieces are from Etsy, but I don't think I'll be able to link them because they're just like one of a kind. I don't think there's like a stock of them, but they are a little mirrored like wall decor. Like here's the mirror part. Um, and then there is a vintage picture right here, which is so cute. It kind of looks like a little miniature headboard, but I just fell in love with it and I got the horse at first. Um, yeah, because this was like the only horse one that they had. As you can see, it can go on the wall. This is actually gonna go in my office. And then found out that they, this seller had a fox version. Yeah, and I think I got what they had. He had a horse and a fox and like, that was it. So here is the little fox, super cute. And yeah, it's gonna go in my office, which my office is actually hopefully coming together in August. I didn't know that was gonna happen, but I finally landed on exactly what I wanna do in that space. So stay tuned for that decorating video. And then I got a new iPhone case. It's like a dupe to Casetify, but like I just personally can't spend that much money on a case for myself. Like I don't mind gifting it for other people, you know, kind of thing. Like I get one for my daughter, but like for myself, no, don't care that much. But it does have that like case to file look. This was $19.99. All right, there's gonna be a couple of things I'm just gonna throw up a picture of because one, I'm not gonna like pull it up in front um, because too big or still in the box. But the first thing is actually a new printer. I got this printer for like crafting and printing out certain pictures and things. And I just wanted it just for that reason. I have a regular printer in my office, but like that's just printing whatever like documents I need to print. I wanted one again for specifically in my crumb, but I bought the Sizzix Big Shot Plus manual die cutting and embossing machine. I've never had a die cutting machine. I don't even have a Cricut, you guys. And I'm like, uh, and I'm just not, I'm just not up with the times. But I decided it was time to at least start somewhere like small. Um, and I thought a manual die cutting machine would be a really great place. Comment though and let me know where I should buy like the little metal die cuts. Um, I'm definitely gonna look on AliExpress, but let me know where you shop for those yourselves because I definitely need to know. Um, I also bought like the plates. I know there's like different plates that you can actually buy with those machines, so I need to look into what plates I need to get. I just wanted to go ahead and start with the basic clear plates um, and do that, but I know that you can get embossing plates and like all of that, so... Um, so I'm waiting for that to come in to just kind of get my feel. And then I need to buy some more like different plates. The next thing that I bought um, what is a uh, like Bluetooth mini photo printer. So I decided to go with the Kodak one. I also got this from Amazon. It's the Kodak Step wireless mobile 
photo mini printer. I went with black. I got this because it will be easy to print any pictures I take from my iPhone and then I can print it to this like little mini form, little mini pictures, kind of like Polaroid picture snapshot. And I wanted this for my journaling, but that's it for my random haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the like, all the bits and goods. Let me know, thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys next time, bye.